Gray August days. Nothing like a bass. Hey, welcome to Angling Acumen, and it is the month of August. Now, around many parts of the country, August can be a tough time for bass fishing, but I actually have some of my best days in the month of August, but it has to be the right kind of day. Now, I do believe when you get this deep in the summer, a lot of bass do most of their feeding at night, so that can give you some very limited and sometimes specific windows of opportunity for daytime fishing. But that all changes on days like this. This is a very heavy overcast, you know, gray kind of a day. And I think that gives you a, a window of opportunity that lasts throughout the entire day or as long as these conditions hold on. Now the type of overcast I'm talking about isn't low rain type clouds. Not that those are gonna be bad. You could have some good fishing under those conditions too, but I'm talking about a high but very dense overcast. Uh, the kind of sky that kind of reminds you that October isn't all that far off but it's still definitely summer, make no mistake about it. The water temperatures are high, the air temperatures are high, but the fish are gonna move on this kind of a day. Just, it's just one of the things I really love to see when I get up and I have this kind of a day and I'm headed out bass fishing. Now with the overcast like this, a lot of your early morning and evening type patterns that you have are gonna actually hold up through the whole day. You know, fish are moved away from cover, they're, they're cruising, they're feeding, and they're moving around. And you know, in, in, on a clear or sunny type day, you know, the fish will go more and more towards cover as the sun gets higher and higher. Uh, but in a day like today, these fish could be cruising and in, in far away from cover in some cases you know, throughout the whole day. And if possible, I mean, I like to start off with a power presentation and one of my favorites for this, for this type of fishing is a spinner bait. And, the fish will let you know, you know, if that's what's going to work. You may have to slow down and, and use something more finessey, you know, be it stick worms or, you know, wacky rigs or, or whatever. But I like to start right away with the power rig, with the power presentation. And if that's going to work, you know, then just stick with that throughout the day. By contrast, this is video that was shot only several days earlier. As you can see, it's a completely cloudless sky, and it was during one of the warmest weeks of the entire summer. I got in the lake shortly after sunrise and focused my activities on the east side of the lake so I would be fishing area that is more shaded. I enjoyed steady action from the bass, but as the sun continued to get higher and higher, less and less of the lake was in the shade. Eventually all shade was lost and bass activity completely stopped. First bass in the morning, second cast. I always like days that start like that. Oh, there we go. And we got a crooked camera. All right. Oh. We got a double willow leaf, one gold, one silver, and a three inch fast pro shop speed shad for a trailer. And that's a uh, Where's the tackle? Reed runner. Alright. Oh! It's a leaper.
<laughs> Making it difficult. Now today's video took place on a lake that was a short distance away from the quarry. So we had the pleasure of a constant hammering sound in the background. While a tad irritating, it fortunately had absolutely no effect on the bass fishing. August day bass. This is one of my best times. I don't know what it is, just heavy overcast days in August. There's just something about it. Even with a northeast wind, we got a kind of a cool northeast wind today, but it doesn't matter. Gray days, gray August days for bass, northern Wisconsin. Can't beat them. Ooh, hit though. Fade as soon as it hit the water. Wow, that was cool. I must have thrown it right on him. on top of it. Pretty decent bass. At least he's fighting good. August day bass, northern Wisconsin. Give it a try. <laughs> 